Hey guys, Ben here. Uh, today I thought we'd uh, try to make some Nor Spanish rice. I have not tried to make this before just for regular eating or for backpacking, but I'm going to try making it in my Tokes. This is the Tokes 850. I'm going to try using just one ounce of alcohol. Okay, couldn't find my spoon. Alright, so, we've got roughly two cups of water here. Throw that in the tokes. And I'm going to be using Fancy Feast type stove. Uh, this one has that carbon felt on the inside and then a tomato paste can the way a Hiram cook talks about it. Um, I had one I made using the uh, fiberglass cloth for the wick and then a bud bottle um, for the pot stand and that worked okay but it that pot stand is, is very fragile. Uh, I did notice that with this one, the burn time, the boil time is um, about a minute longer with this, but the fuel lasts about a minute longer versus the other one. So that's just an interesting tidbit. But So I'm going to put an ounce of fuel in here. Now the directions for this say in a medium saucepan bring two cups of water, one tablespoon of vegetable oil, oil optional, and the contents of the package to a boil. So I'm going to pour this in the pot. Normally when I'm hiking, I like to have everything cooked right in the bag because I don't like dirty in my pot because then you got to worry about cleaning it and all that other stuff. So I'd be curious if this would work in a freezer bag. If anybody's tried that with like a Glad freezer bag, cooked it right in the bag just drop me a comment because I'd be curious to see if that works I don't know why it wouldn't if people are cooking other stuff in the freezer bags but I'm just going to kind of stir this a little bit that's what you that's what you got so hopefully get this in before the light goes There we go. So we're not doing the vegetable oil because I wouldn't want to carry vegetable oil with me on the trail. Maybe I should have had my windscreen. I didn't think I'd need it, but now the wind's picked up. Two cups of water in this setup boils in 10 minutes 45 seconds. So we'll see where it's at at that point as far as edibility. Well, I just ran out of alcohol without a without getting a real full boil on this thing. So that is not good. Still pretty soupy. And the rice isn't really rehydrated. No, I'm not even close. 
beautiful. And we'll leave that in there another five minutes or so. See what happens. Well, I'm losing the light pretty fast here, folks, so... Pot's still pretty hot. It's 8.20 now. It's been about 15 minutes. This is still starting to hydrate up a little better. It's getting thick. I can tell you what. This is... Well, I know how much I eat, even after I've been hiking. And this is way more than I would ever eat in a sitting. So I think what I would do if I ever do this again I would solve a couple of problems is I would split this in half and then I would only need a cup of water and hopefully get a better boil situation going on. But I think if I leave this right in here it's gonna rehydrate pretty well. It's close. Still really hot, so that's good. Bugs are starting to get real bad too. So I think I'm gonna have to call this one. Let it soak a little more, but that's why I make these videos, folks, so you guys can uh, learn from my mistakes, or we can learn at the same time. That's actually not bad, right there. Um, but I'm gonna give it a little longer. Anyway, that was a Nor rice side. Now it's an alcohol, denatured alcohol. All right, hope you enjoyed that. Please like, comment, subscribe, share, all that business. We'll see you next time.